Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video, I'm gonna give you three keys to selling on Facebook. Now, before I get into those three keys to selling on Facebook, I wanna quickly mention that at the end of this video, I'm gonna be talking about a couple of free things, free Facebook advertising resources that I think you're going to be very, very interested in. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video for those. But with that said, let's get into it. Okay, three keys to selling on Facebook. So the first one is probably not that you would recommend, probably not one that you would expect, and that you want to make your average customer value as high as you can possibly make it. Now you might be thinking, hang on a minute, this is keys to selling on Facebook, you know, how does average customer value play into that? Here's why it's important. The more, on average, each customer is worth to your business, the more you can afford to pay to acquire that customer. So let me give you an example. Let's say you're an e-commerce business and you sell one $20 product, okay? If the only thing you offer is one $20 product, you can probably only afford to pay seven, eight dollars, something along those lines, to acquire a new customer and it still be profitable for you. Above seven or eight dollars per new customer acquired, there's just, it's just too expensive. You're not gonna make any money on those customers, okay? And achieving a seven or eight dollar cost per purchase, cost per new customer acquired on Facebook at scale over a consistent time period is really, really difficult to do. But let's take that same e-commerce business and let's say that you've got a really good email follow-up sequence after they buy that first product. Let's say you've got upsells. Let's say you've got you know cross sales into different, slightly different niches that you operate in and all that sort of stuff to really increase your average customer value so that you know that on average, and this might take a bit of time, might not be immediately, but you know that on average, instead of customers being worth $20 only to your business, they're worth, let's say, $80 over the first six months. You know, maybe you could add a subscription product, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you know that a customer is worth $80 to your business instead of 20, well, you can, afford, you can afford to pay a lot more than seven or $8 to acquire a new customer. You might be able to pay 30, $35, $25, whatever it happens to be for your business and your numbers to acquire a new customer. And acquiring a new customer for let's say $30 is so much easier and much more scalable than acquiring a customer for seven or $8. Because as you try and reach more people, your costs are going to increase, et cetera, et cetera. So as a Facebook ads agency owner, I love it when I talk to a, a prospect and they say something along the lines of, oh, each customer is worth $15,000 to us, $20,000 to us. That's brilliant because I know that if we get them one customer, that's probably gonna pay for an entire month's advertising, depending obviously on what their budget is. Um, if we can get them a couple of customers, it's gonna pay for more than that. So it, the, the chances that you're gonna generate a fantastic return on ad spend when average customer value, value is really, really high is much greater than when it's lower. Okay, so obviously making your average customer value as high as possible can be putting your prices up. That can be part of it, but it's not always the, the complete answer. It can also be what I just mentioned in terms of, can you upsell products? Can you add a subscription set up to your thing? You, you know, you wanna find ways, how can I get more money out of customers that I've already got? And you're not in a bad way. You know, you're only gonna get more money out of them if you deliver more value. So it's not sort of like a cynical business owner trying to take their money, but it's how can I deliver more value, charge more, increase that average customer value? It'll make everything about my business much more sustainable in the long run, because I'll be able to pay more to um, acquire a new customer. So make your average customer value as high as possible. Not one that most people think, but it allows you to pay more. And if you can pay more than other people, you will always be able to advertise on the platform and generate a profit. Okay, number two is to make sure that whatever, well, key to selling on Facebook, number two, I should say, is to make sure that whatever you're offering is different or new or better in some way than the standard in the industry. Okay, you shouldn't forget that when you're advertising on Facebook, you are advertising to real people and they're gonna make logical decisions. Should they buy what you're offering? Is it better than what they can get elsewhere? Or is it better priced than what they can get elsewhere? A lot of people seem to think this. They just think that if I get the ad campaign up on Facebook, if the targeting's right, and the ad creative's right, it'll work. That's not true. What you're offering is really important. And people do buy new and different. They buy better than what else is available. And a lot of the times that can be really difficult to do. So you might be thinking, well, there's no way I could innovate on this product and make it better. Sometimes you can, if that's an option, great. What could you add to the product? How could you improve the product or service? 
um, so that it's substantially better than what else is what's offered elsewhere, that would be a really good place to start. But let's say you can't do that. Well, perhaps you could offer something like a finance package. Perhaps in your industry, people don't offer finance packages. They just ask for a big old payment up front and a lot of people can't afford that. Perhaps you can offer a finance package which gives you a competitive advantage. That could be a great way to differentiate yourself. Um, perhaps you could win on price. Price does matter. You know, there's this one business owner that I've, I've done quite a lot of work with. I know him really well. Um, he's a great guy, and for at least a year, he was absolutely obsessed with reducing his cost per purchase from eight pound um, to seven pound. Because at his price point, which was very, very competitive, it, it, he was coming in at a price point under a lot of his competitors. He could make a nice profit at seven pounds. But at eight pounds, it was really close to the wire. He was trying to do loads of volume and, and make razors, operating off razor thin margins. He had a nice little bit of profit at seven pounds, but at eight pounds, he didn't. And he was really, really struggling, obsessed with getting this, you know, his cost per purchase lower, lower, lower on Facebook. And I sort of took a look at his business and we, I did some consulting with him and things like that. And we, we, we analyzed it and he was manufacturing his product in Germany. And I think he was paying something like 21 pounds per unit in cost to get it manufactured. And we sort of took a look at, at his numbers and I thought, instead of obsessing and, and working with loads of people and getting, putting in loads of time and, and money and effort into reducing your cost per purchase on Facebook from eight pounds down to seven pounds, you could get on a, on a plane, go to China or Vietnam, get this product, instead of it being manufactured for 21 pound a unit in Germany, you could probably get it manufactured for six or seven pounds, let's say 10 at a maximum in China. And then worrying about getting that tiny little bit off, that, that, that losing that pound on cost per purchase on Facebook um, is not a concern at all because you've, you've made such a, a bigger difference to your, to your business by reducing your cost per unit and your cost of goods, goods sold so that you're much more profitable. So what was that story trying to tell you? It was about price. Is there a way that you can manufacture a product or get a product or offer a service for a much lower price than your competitors what's standardly available and still make a nice profit on it in that example it would be stop manufacturing this in germany and operating with razor thin margins go and manufacture it somewhere far less expensive and you should make a lot more profit um, as a result and again these are three keys to selling on facebook that's what this video is all about it's selling on facebook and being able to offer a lower price having that competitive advantage over your competitors is one of the absolute best ways to sell on Facebook. As I said, it doesn't have to be priced. You could innovate on the product. You could offer a finance package. There's lots of different options to, to create something new uh, and different or better, but price is one of them. Okay, and then the third and final key to selling on Facebook that I want to mention is to focus on your ad creative. So a lot of Facebook advertisers get, in, get the impression, and I think this is probably caused by a lot of the material that people like myself release, uh, Facebook advertising experts talk about targeting. They talk about the various settings you need to use in your Facebook ad campaign. And these things are important. If you don't have these right, your Facebook ad campaigns are very unlikely to succeed and deliver great results. But, but, in my opinion, after what, are you, what you're actually offering, which is always the most important, the ad creative is the most important part of the campaign itself. And this makes sense because your ad creative is the part that your prospects are actually going to see. That's what's put in front of people. That's what's gonna make the impression. That's what's gonna convince them to click through to your website, to buy, to inquire, to become a lead, whatever it is that you want people to do, it's the ad creative. So let's say for example, you're not seeing results, but you know you've got a great offer. You've got a, perhaps a, a new or different product. You're way better on price than everyone else, something along those lines and you've got your campaign set up quite well, perhaps you've been through some tutorials, perhaps you've been through one of my courses and you've seen, okay, I know this is how you set up a campaign. We're targeting lookalikes based off previous purchases. We've got you know, all the settings, we're using the conversion objective. We've got all that set up right, but this just isn't landing. It's not generating the results that we would expect. It's probably your ad creative. So as a Facebook ads agency, we spend more time creating and testing new ad creative than we do anything else. We will test videos, we will test carousels, slideshows, many different images, um, you know, little animated uh, slideshow preset, presets that Facebook provide, lots of different ad formats, different ad creative. And that's really, really important because ad creative is the part that people see. It's what's gonna convince people to take action. So I think you should be willing to test 20, 30, maybe more different pieces of creative to find something that works really well for your business. And you should also be willing to put some money behind it. 
you know, um, if you're looking to spend $10,000, $100,000 on a Facebook ad campaign, hoping it works well and you can scale it, why wouldn't you hire a videographer for the, for the day for $1,000? A lot of people don't want to spend on making sure that that creative is really, really good. And a videographer or a photographer or a professional video editor or something like that, these people cost money, but it can be well, well worth it. So I take a small section of your budget, whatever you're gonna spend on your Facebook ad campaign, and put it into making your ad creative that much better. It could be a graphic designer, for example. Okay, so the beginning of the video, I mentioned a couple of free um, Facebook advertising resources that I was gonna talk about. I'll quickly talk about those now. The first, is my Facebook Ads Mastermind group. So this is a free Facebook group, a uh, fantastic community. It's got more than 18,000 members in it. It's my Facebook group. Um, anyone can join, you can ask questions. There's, you'll get tons of people giving you feedback, more than willing to help out. So if you're looking for better results with Facebook advertising, I strongly recommend you join, strongly recommend you get involved. Fantastic community. There'll be a link in the video description. Just click on that. I'll accept the request and I will see you on the other side, on the inside. Uh, the next free thing is my five part Facebook ad template. This is something you can download for free. Again, there will be another link in the video description. And this Facebook ad template includes some of the best performing ads that I've created for our clients in a number of different industries. We have broken each ad down into its component parts and explain sort of what we've included and why. So you can model from those ads. If you're looking for better results for Facebook advertising, I would strongly recommend you go ahead and, um, and grab that. And then finally, just for a go, um, I want to quickly mention our Facebook advertising services. So my company, Lead Guru, is a Facebook advertising agency. Um, we create, manage, and optimize Facebook ad campaigns for our clients. So if you're spending more than $3,000 a month or looking to spend more than $3,000 a month, I'd love to have a quick chat with you. You can book a free phone call provided you meet that criteria with me. Again, there'll be a link in the video description below. And this is no obligation. It's not, you know, it's very, very casual. We can just talk about, I can find out a bit more information about your business. I can then explain how we work and we can basically see if we'd be a good fit and if we can help you get better results from your Facebook ads, which if you've been doing it by yourself to this point and um, working with a professional agency will almost certainly help improve your results, which could mean really, really big things for your business. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell notification when you do to make sure that you receive notifications whenever I release a new video, release Facebook advertising related content all the time. Uh, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below to let me know if you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions about any of these um, keys to selling on Facebook, then go ahead and make sure you pop those in the comments below. I do answer all the comments, so I will uh, get to it at some point. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.